Mama, I made it. You know what I'm saying? This challenge sucks. Oh my God. It just made my skincare routine so much more easy. Where are my soul, sisters? Let me hear y'all flow, sister. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, your sister, Union in the house today, and I'm so happy to see you guys. I'm back with another challenge. So for 30 days, I did this challenge and it was actually using the same set of products from the same line and from the same brand. I was always really curious to find out what would happen if it would be good for my skin or if it would be bad for my skin to be able to use just a selection of products from the same lines from the same brands. So if you're curious and interested, please stay tuned until the end. I'll tell you what happened. And I've done this uh, by using a sheet mask every single day for 30 days too. If you haven't seen that video yet, please go check it out right there. Don't go right now, go after this video. Anyway, so first of all, I'm so glad that this challenge is over and I will tell you why. <laughs> I'll tell you all the cons and all the pros later on in the video. And the line of products that I chose is from... It is from Rovectin. And I know my unicorns, you're not that surprised because you guys know that I have been loving Rovectin for a um, couple of months now and I've been raving about them. The Skin Essential Aqua line focuses on hydrating the skin deep within and also for calming uh, your skin as well. And they do have a patent formulation called Aqua Cell Activator. And that is in every single one of the products to make sure to hydrate your skin and to calm your skin. And I've already talked about these products a lot on my channel. Uh, they are products that I do purely enjoy. So I'm just gonna go over them really quickly and I'm gonna start off with a cleanser. Now I've mentioned this so many times, but this is the Rovectin Skin Essentials um, Conditioning Cleanser. I have changed all my cleansers, plus I've changed my body washes as well. This is the only thing I use, this one and the Crave one. Uh, these are the only two cleansers that I would use on my body or my face these days. I purely enjoy this because this is so gentle. This can be used for um, children and babies as well, so it's that gentle. It is free from a lot of the unnecessary um, ingredients that can be harsh on your skin, and I love that after I use this, my skin feels so moisturized and especially because I do have combination skin I do want to keep the necessary moisture on my skin and this kind of like almost creates a barrier afterwards that it doesn't strip away the goodness that I want to keep so I really love this it doesn't irritate my skin and it does have gentle exfoliation effect and I feel like overall my skin has been so good after I've turned to this cleanser all right, and then we have the toner here, and this is uh, really, really, really well known already, and I know that a lot of my unicorns love it already, but this is the Robectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. The name is lotion, but as you can see, this is a toner. Uh, you can use it as the very first step in your skincare routine. This is a very viscous toner, as you can see. It's not a watery texture, but it's really viscous. The intensive hydration level is off the hook. I really like this one. I feel like even if you have oily skin, dry skin, acne prone, whatever it may be, this is a great choice for you. This also does have a gentle exfoliating effect as well. All right guys, so we're gonna move on to the serum and this is the Robectin Skin Essentials Aqua Activating Serum. I've mentioned this multiple times on my channel. This is a really um, great textured uh, serum that is super light and it feels really comfortable on the skin. It's just really easy to use and I feel like all skin types will really love this and it's perfect for the summertime. All right, so we're gonna move on to the cream now. This is also from the Aqua line and this has a very light and fresh texture which is perfect for the summertime as well. I feel like you guys will love this gel-like texture but your skin does feel hydrated throughout the whole day. All right, so we're gonna move on to this now. This is the Robectin Aqua Soothing UV Protector. This has SPF PA+, and I really like that it has high SPF. And I've mentioned this multiple times, but in Korea, 
uh, there's yellow dust and there's fine dust, you know what I'm saying? It does have a patent ingredient to help with that as well, which always helps. Robectin has a few more sunscreens, but this one is by far for now my favorite. I love it. It doesn't have any white cast. It's so creamy. Um, it goes on my skin smoothly. It feels really comfortable on my skin. So this is definitely like, like one of my favorites from, you know, the other products. Alright guys, last but not least, I'm gonna introduce you to the sheet mask and I know that you're like, Only I already know about the sheet mask because you talked about it so much but I really, really, really like this one. This is a Dr. Mask Aqua um, sheet mask from Rovectin. This is very gentle. This one has like the goodness from this treatment lotion which I absolutely love. So the formulation, the ingredients are 95% similar I heard. So because this isn't a sheet mask format, they do have to change a little bit of that 5% but everything in here is in here and I love this so much and if you're a huge fan of the treatment lotion and I know many of you guys are, this is like the best selling product from the brand. Um, the goodness is all in here as well and I love that when I use this, it helps to calm my my skin and to hydrate my skin but I love that instant that immediate plumpness as well from the uh, different sizes of hyaluronic acid and you guys I have to tell you something oh my god I think this video is gonna go up after so I think I am allowed to spoil a little bit but I just filmed a video uh, for a collaboration video with James James Walsh Oh my gosh, and um, got the Mr. Renee's gonna be in it, and there's gonna be a lot of awesome people that's gonna be in it, and I'm just so like, mama, I made it! You know what I'm saying? I'm just so happy that James reached out to me, and I kind of acted like I wasn't fangirling too much like in the collab video, but inside I was like, oh my gosh, I get to be in James's video, yay! Actually, James is doing a video for a good cause, and he's gonna be donating the revenue and everything from the video to the charity of through this difficult times and the reason why this came up was because I was saying that I used this in um, James's video but anyways I'm gonna link that video in the description below so please check it out your views really do matter it is for a good cause and oh my god don't you want to see your girl on James's channel all right guys so now let's go to day one where I had no idea what was coming in my way and I'm gonna share with you my day 15 uh, of the challenge as well so yeah let's go Hello guys! So this is day one of the challenge. As you can see, my skin is very irritated. I am experiencing some breakouts, mostly due to the masks uh, that I put on. So I am breaking out a lot in that area. And my skin right now feels really, really irritated. As you can see, everywhere right now is in a really bad condition and my skin feels really dry right now and everything just kind of hurts. I feel like this is the perfect day one because I can really see a difference of how my skin will look afterwards and this is the toner that I'm gonna be using. As y'all know, I love this one but I'm really curious of how my skin will turn out after the 30 days or if it will be the same or I have a feeling that I might get kind of bored because I'm like using the same products every single day you know what I'm saying? And yeah, sometimes I do have to admit I am super guilty of trying so many different products of course like due to um, what I do but plus like I'm such a I, I love like I can't leave a new product alone and if I see it I'm like I really want to try it I know like it might irritate my skin but I just keep on you know using different products I use numerous amounts of different products um, in such a short time so I feel like sometimes that's why my skin's kind of mad at me and um, I'm gonna use this sheet mask today and it's from the same line I know that this large amount of the the activating treatment lotion that we just put on yep it has a lot of this baby in i also do like using this sheet mask um, often because it's really good for daily care and for calming and for hydration um, the sheets are super soft all right and i'm gonna wait about 20 minutes and i'll see y'all after all right guys so i'm done with day one for this challenge Hi guys! 
how are you? This is day 15 of the challenge and yes, my skin has been looking fabuloso. So I am so happy that I took on this challenge. The best part is that I do feel like I'm breaking out less and my morning routines are so much like easier. I don't have to think about what to put on. It just makes my routine so much more simple, I guess. I'm so shocked that I am enjoying this so much. My skin is just feeling so much better. More of hydration and less breakouts, which is one of the main reasons why I really wanted to do this challenge. So it's been fabuloso in that sense. And I'm really falling in love with the products. Like, I mean, I love all the products, but uh, especially the sunscreen. I love it. No white cast, um, non-chemical filter, so super gentle on my skin. Um, I love doing retouches with the two. This has been definitely my fave, fave, fave. So I'm having so much fun. I'm so glad that I took on this challenge. 15 days, it's gonna be fabulous. So, all right. So I'm gonna just keep on going and doing my thing, okay? Okay. Alright guys, today is day 30 and now I'm gonna tell you guys the con and the pro of this whole challenge. Okay, so I have my notes here and I'm gonna, okay, tell you. Let's go with pros first. I did not have to worry too much about what I'm gonna use. So that was a real big thank you, especially for busy mornings and nights because it just made my skincare routine so much more easy and I didn't really have to think about it. And I actually did this with Derek. I know you saw a little clips of Derek as well. I made him do the challenge with me. Oh, okay, so yes, this was a definite big, big, big uh, pro for me. Uh, because of my job, my job is to test out new products. As I mentioned before, I have skin that is easily irritated and sensitive. And I feel like before I started this challenge, I was just so frustrated, number one, of like, I would not know why I was breaking out. It would drive me crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, was it this product? Was it that product? Day 30, I can proudly say that my skin has been so calmed and my skin has been so hydrated and my skin just feels healthier with these set of products. So that was the one of the best parts about it. I got to really like the products. Like I had the time to really see the effects. I had the time to really see um, how much I like it, how it works for my skin. Um, I knew that the product suited my skin and everything, but there are three that I really fell in love with. So the um, Aqua Concentrate Cream, this one I really fell in love with because I think it's the summertime. It was like a really great texture and it just kept my skin so moisturized and I loved it with a passion. And I love the sunscreen. I've mentioned this, but now this is like my top I would say it would be definitely in my top five sunscreens because it doesn't have any white cast. It protects my skin. I take this around with me to reapply my sunscreen now. It just works beautifully and it just makes my life easier. So I really like this one and the sheet mask. I liked it before, but that plumpness you get afterwards is just so amazing. So the hyaluronic acids in a lot of the products in the market, they're diluted, but the hyaluronic acids from Robectin is not diluted. And I see that plumpness afterwards, which I absolutely adore. All right, guys, so we're gonna move on to the con now, okay? So I'm gonna be straightforward with you. I have a little bit more of the con than the pro of the whole challenge. There were so many products that I was just dying to try out. I saw like new arrivals from different brands on Instagram that I wanted to purchase. So yes, it definitely reminded me of like how big of a skincare geek I am. And yes, so I am so glad that this challenge is over. I'm gonna be like skincare shopping like there's no tomorrow. So this was the worst part of the whole challenge. 
there were days where I could see blackheads. Like I wanted to get rid of blackheads. So there were certain pore care products that I use that removes blackheads effectively, like at once. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I really wanted to use it, but I couldn't. So I think that was like the only um, con. And sometimes uh, after my skin would feel so drying in certain days. So I wanted to use a few drops of my oils or I wanted to use something a little bit more rich. The set of products here, they do focus on hydration and deep hydration but sometimes I didn't want that like rich nourishing effect and things like that so that was definitely a con and that is one of the reasons why I don't think I would do another challenge where I use the same set of products like the whole 30 days Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen. So one of the reasons why I don't want to do this challenge is I loved the set of products that I was using, but I was getting so bored. I wanted to like multi-mask. And there were so many pretty like products that I wanted to like open and I wanted to put on my face and rub it, but I couldn't. So as a skincare geek, this challenge sucks. It was really difficult towards the end. So my last con is it made me crazy. I wanted to buy everything. Ha ha exclamation mark. <laughs> so it made me crazy. Since I knew I couldn't get it, I'm like, I was like ready. I'm like, I put everything like in my cart so that after this challenge, I could just like purchase. Oh my gosh. Um, this was a very meaningful challenge for me and I'm so proud of myself that I've done it. Overall, at the end, I would not do it again. Realistically speaking, I think it's the best to add in a little bit of the products that you are familiar with, that you like, and you know that works for your skin concern, you know? Because we never have like one skin concern. We have like multiples at once, so. Anyways, guys, so that was my uh, review, my final review for day 30. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like me doing these type of challenges, please leave it in the comments below. So give me some ideas for a challenge that you want to do as well, that we can do together. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you, my unicorns. I hope every single one of you and your loved ones are staying safe. I love you so much. Bye. Thank you for understanding my craziness today. Bye!